Hello wonderful people of God. So we come your way this month with exciting news from the camp of our man of God, Dr. Ego Damina, as he shares insights with us on the knowledge of the scriptures concerning the character of God in salvation. So we want you to stay glued to your screen as we broadcast this every day and do the work of an evangelist for us by sharing this message always. Also, like this message and then comment whatever you learn in the comment section. Thank you. And if you're new here, please don't leave without hitting on that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thank you. <laughs> so when we read the Old Testament, we see the wrath of man. And it does not walk the righteousness of God. When God now became a man, because we're going to see his character again in man. We're going to see the character of God in man. You know, the people he answered their prayer in the four gospels, none of them spoke in tongues. One even said, I don't believe. Help my own belief. How best can, can a man doubt? Say, let him ask of God that giveth to all men. How plus? He giveth, he's the same. This should not make you unhappy that your father is kind to all. <laughs> if you are unhappy that your father is kind to all, that's a rot of man, which does not work. <laughs> that's why I say, if you see your enemy in need, give to him. That's your father's character. If you see your enemy in need, give to him. If he's praying for an interview, join him in prayer that he will succeed. That's the character of your father. Don't say, even that prayer, pray, God, put, let thunder. <laughs> That's the rot of man. Which does not walk the righteousness of God. <laughs> he said, be like your heavenly father who makes his son to shine on the good and on the bad. The character of God even baffles his children. They wish he was an evil father in some area. <laughs> baffles his children they will have wish at least the father should have some small way of chung. don't you know if he does chung at all you to one time you will collect you will collect have you know I collect <laughs> <laughs> glory to God but my father is kind to all is that your father the father of our Lord Jesus Christ In their mind, they feel like, I can't have a God like that, that is a weakling. That's the wrath of man. It does not walk the righteousness of God. Give me Luke 6, 22. Luke chapter 6, verse 22. I'm getting blessed this morning. Luke chapter 6, verse 22. Give us mic on, on PJs. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Look at Romans 15 verse 3. Romans chapter 15 verse number 3. Blessed are you when they treat you like that. For even Christ pleased not himself but as it is written the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. So God doesn't find fault. That's consistent in his character. All our reproaches fell on Jesus. He came to bear our insults. And he was well insulted on our behalf. Look at 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 14. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse number 14. If you be reproached for the name of Christ. Fix PJ's microphone for me. If you be reproached for the name of Christ. Happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you. On their path he is evil spoken of. But on your path he is, he is glorified. On your path 
he is glorified. So no fault finding. Look at Romans chapter 3 verse 20. Romans 3 20. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. And how many of you know it's not God that gave the law? Huh? It's not God that gave the law. But the law plays his part. So we have seen that the heart of So we have seen that the heart of revenge came from man. And it spread from Cain. And that heart is still spreading today. Even in churches. That heart is the reason for fall and die prayers. That heart is the reason for carrying mortar to church. All church members with mortar and pinstein. Now pound your enemy. Boom. 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 If God were to answer those prayers. Nobody will be alive. Kickboxing in the name of Jesus. They call it prayer. Dangerous prayers. It's revenge. It's revenge. The same thing that troubled Cain is troubling many Christians. God has long suffering. And he did nothing to Cain, but protected Cain. Look at James 1.20. James chapter 1 verse 20. James 1.20. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. So the wrath is the right, wrath of who? Man. So where are we going to find the wrath of man? In man. You cannot know God outside man. Write that in capital letters. You cannot know God outside man. So man will be our focus. The wrath of man does not walk the righteousness of God. What is in God? Every good and perfect gift. What kind of God is he? He does not find fault. And if you don't find fault, how will you get angry? The reason why you get angry is because you found fault in people. God doesn't find fault. So you can't be angry. Because you have to find fault to get angry. But your father is consistent. He is not different from the gospel we preach. The gospel we preach is not one side of God. The gospel we preach is all of God. You know, many prayers people pray are prayed out of unbelief. They are prayed out of unbelief. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. So as we examine the wrath of God in this series, it's important for you to know that even in the Old Testament, when you see the way Moses wrote, Moses wrote because of the hardness of their heart. They were a people that were hardened. They were a people of unbelief. And that's why Moses spoke to them the way he spoke. Look at Deuteronomy 32 verse 20. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 20 because... And he said, I will hide my face from them, and I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. They are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. And Jesus confirmed Moses in Matthew 19 verse 8. Give me Matthew 19 verse 8. He saith unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, suffered you to put away your wives. But from the beginning it was not so. But from the beginning it was not so because of the hardness in view of the hardness of your hearts. So when Moses wrote Genesis, he didn't write it to you and I. Because we don't have such dullness. He had to write it that way because of the kind of audience he was writing to. Then we also have the teaching ministry of the prophets. 
We have the teaching ministry of the prophets who in the midst of their vengeance and their anger still spoke the good news. The prophets, Old Testament prophets. In the midst of their anger and vengeance, you will see good news spoken. Then again we have, you know, Jesus who taught by parables. Why did he teach by parable? Because the people were limited. God in the flesh said, I have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. But how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is calm, he will guide you into all the truth. So if his men cannot bear them, how much more these guys that were in Kadesh Barnea for 40 years? But then in the epistles today, we have the spirit of truth. We have the whole truth about God revealed. We have all the truth about God revealed. So to know God, you will know God in man. The revelation of God is in man. The complete, accurate, comprehensive revelation of God will be found in man. Glory to God. I say glory to God. Let him ask of the giving God that giveth to all men liberally and does not find fault. Glory to God. God doesn't find fault. So this morning you are sure that every prayer you are praying, your answers are already released. Amen. I said amen. Say I receive answers to prayers. Say it again. I receive answers to my prayers right now. I didn't hear a good amen. Say I receive answers to prayers right now. Say I receive. Miracles. Healing. Signs. And wonders. Right now. Because it is already done. In Christ Jesus. I didn't hear a good amen. And you know what Jesus called healing. The children's bread. You know why he called healing the children's bread. Bread was the first thing every family among the Jews must have. It was staple food. It was in the houses of all the Jewish people. In fact, when you visit them, the first thing they give you is bread. Before they bring anything else. So Jesus called healing as common as bread. Children's bread. Children's healing is bread. That's to say anybody that wants it is available in the house. You don't need special application. Just stand up, grab it and eat. One thing you are sure you will eat in the house of a Jewish person without being disciplined is bread. Mommy will not say, don't you know it was kept specially. There's nothing specially in bread. Just hijack it. Tear it and eat it. Just take what you need. Take it. Amen. We are so grateful for having you here on our platform. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And also like this message for us. Do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, message community.